Good afternoon, it's Holly. I am up in the mountains, about 8,600 feet. And let me tell you, I can feel it. I'm trying to like breathe in breaths to talk to you and I'm like, woo, but I got quite the view here, as you can see. Gorgeous, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> um, I have, this is kind of cool. I am in an area uh, that could potentially, there. If, if you see a bear behind me, let me know, because I'm in the middle of nowhere next to nothing right now. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully no bears in the middle of the Colorado mountains. I am up west of Boulder, uh, near a little town called Netherland, uh, in an area called Caribou Ranch. I'm right off Caribou Ranch Road, uh, way, 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 way up way altitude. <laughs> um, but Caribou Ranch has some cool history and actually some personal family history here. Um, it was a, a little town, a mining town. Well, actually, it wasn't that little. It had about uh, 3,000 people in the 1870s because yeah, people came in to uh, mine for silver and then silver's uh, um, the... Uh, I can't think. <laughs> uh, silver eventually dropped. The price of it dropped and everyone uh, started heading down the mountain. Uh, but it kind of kept up its popularity here. This eventually dissipated uh, and a lot of it burned down and there's still a cemetery up here somewhere um, of old residents from that old mining town which is now a ghost town. <laughs> and then a town eventually got built a little ways down the mountain here called Netherland. And Netherland's still around, total hippie town. They have frozen dead guy days. I'll tell you about that sometime. Um, but <laughs> it's a fun town. Now. What's cool about uh, the Caribou Ranch is uh, it's it was uh, a ranch for a while, and then this guy came up named uh, Lynn Van Vliet. Lynn Van Vliet was known as the boss, and that's exactly what my grandfather called him. He lived in Boulder during this school year, and then would come up during the summer and work for the boss. Uh, and this guy, <laughs> he had a lot of money. He uh, he had his own yacht and he shipped in Arabian horses from overseas and they would do Arabian horse shows up here for very fancy people. The Prince of Iraq, also Gypsy Rose Lee, the famous burlesque dancer. My grandfather met her because she just came up and they saw an Arabian horse show one day and then there you go. And uh, they eventually sold it in uh, 1951 to another guy named Barnes uh, from Houston and he ran it as a ranch for a while uh, until another guy bought it. This guy's name, I can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> And I don't want to butcher it. Uh, he's a producer at Columbia Records in Los Angeles and also managed a little band called Chicago. From Chicago. Um, and he wasn't too keen on the whole recording studio in New York and LA. It's just kind of busy. I've been there. I've lived in LA. I've lived in New York. And it's busy. And there's a lot of stuff going on. And he said, you know what might be kind of cool? Come up here. It's peaceful, there's a breeze, and you guys can play your music and do your thing. And so, I uh, kind of, he, he built this recording studio out of one of the old barns, uh, one of Van Vliet's old barns. And then a lot of the cabins there, the artists, they would come up and live in the cabins and record. Now, I'm not talking just these little local Colorado artists, so one of them was. Uh, one of them was Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh is equipment <laughs> one day uh, in the 70s broke and he said he heard of this recording studio up in the mountains and so he he came up and he was the first one to record up here and recorded this little song called Rocky Mountain Way classic rock staple and other people heard about it John uh, Elton John I'll get to the other John in a second yeah but Elton John uh, did a show in Denver and then came up and recorded Caribou album up here and then did his next two albums up here John Lennon uh, came up and toured uh, as well he's a little bit more low-key Elton John came up with his limo, and they like spotted him at the Burger King in Boulder, and they're like, yeah, Elton's here, because he, you know, Elton stands out a little bit. But a lot of famous people came up here, uh, including John Denver, um, not his real last name, but uh, he recorded up here as well. So yes, I brought props, look. John Denver recorded up here, and also one of my favorites. Not this particular album, but another album, but you, you know her for the Tapestry album, that's right, Carol King. She recorded up here as well. Michael Jackson recorded up here. Even offered to buy the place in the 80s. Uh, this was around from 71 to 85, and then there was a fire from a space heater. Um, after that though, uh, Rock was going into digital. And so uh, John decided he wasn't gonna rebuild it and eventually shut her down. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it was kind of, you know, back and forth for a while. In, in 2014, it sold to Indian Peaks LLC. And you're like, oh, okay, that's nice. Maybe they'll do something with it. It makes me a little, uh, because you know what that's owned by? It, the Walton family, a.k.a. 
Walmart owns this now. So there you go. Fun rock history for you there. But really cool, really cool history. Serious recording studio. They had a ton of Grammys come out of here, a couple of number one hits. Uh, the sound engineer thought it was because you're about, again, 8,600 feet. It makes you sound better. Do I sound better? Do I sound good? Um, and also to uh, just having the free air and flowing rivers and just, you know, not a lot of noise. So who knows, but kind of cool. So um, yeah, this is it. This is the Caribou Ranch. And like I said, it's kind of cool. My grandpa uh, worked up here, recorded a couple movies from Warner Brothers. Oh yes, forgot to mention that. Arabians in the Rockies, which I found, and Sons of Courage, which I'm still looking for. The last I talked to some people, 20th Century Fox, they found the audio in one section of their building in Los Angeles and the video in another section. And to put them together cost a lot of money that I don't have. So if anyone, it, that, that was about 2009, about 10 years ago, 2010, 2009, 10. So it's been about nine years. So maybe perhaps somebody put Sons of Courage together. Uh, if you see this, can you send it to me? Because my grandpa's in it and he's never seen it. And he's 87 and it'd be cool for him to see it soon. So um, we have seen Arabians in the Rockies though. It's kind of a trip to see your grandpa at 14 in Technicolor. Um, but yeah, so, and he's, he's darn good with those horses, which is why he worked on the ranch. So there you go. So a lot of cool history, a lot of family history up here. And so yeah, kind of fun. Uh, and it's nice today. It's a nice warm day. So that's also good. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.